Well, hello everybody, it's Ron Howard and I'm back. Guess what, it's a two for Tuesday. Two tutorials all in one day. And so while my previous video uploads, the one I just did about Moises, uh, which you'll see soon enough, I'll start on this video, which has to do with how I'm exploring working with this really, really cool tool. It's an effect. This guy right here, Sketch. And when you click on it, you'll see that I used an image here that I traced out. So typically I'll drag this guy over here. Now, I think there's still some work being done on this um, because right now, as you can see in the window here, um, there's no way to lower <laughs> the size of this or to make the size any smaller than it is. I have a 5k monitor so everything sort of just works in the 5k world uh, but here as you can see um, this is going to be a bit of a challenge even trying to move this around. I don't know if it's a Mac thing, don't know if it's a Windows thing but in this world it's sort of uh, it's 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 not a it's not a deal breaker. It's just you're gonna have to scroll down to see everything you want. You can see here that I have two paths, and there's one path there, and then my second path. And what I did was I this is gonna drive me crazy. I started at the top, and I basically went around Baby Yoda, and created a couple of paths, and that's all I did. And that was me just kind of goofing and experimenting. And I'll drag you back over here out of the way so we can see this. So here's path one that is flip horizontal and then the other path, which is none. And it gives us effect. What I would suggest when you get your perfect combination, uh, if you have two separate ones uh, or however you're going to configure it, what I would do is I would right click effects preset. I would create your sketch and then I would save them as in your library for your presets. There's really no way to uh, save this. I suppose you could copy this and paste it somewhere, but it's probably gonna be just fast, be a bit faster to do it by putting it as a preset. Here's the next one. This was uh, this guy here that I sketched out. There we go. And typically, I'll just bring this up here to size, and then I created one, two, three, four, and five different ones that give me this look here, which I think looks really cool. And this is kind of stuff that uh, I think is going to be a lot of fun to work with especially when we start working with colors and some other effects behind it, uh, some blending that I just love to do, and that's going to be fun. That's pretty cool stuff. And then there's this guy, the helmet. I believe it's the Mando helmet. I could be wrong. It could be Boba's helmet. I don't know. I'm sure someone's going to go, dude, don't you know you're Star Wars? Uh, don't care. Uh, this one, is, you, as you can see here, was a little more jagged, but I was able to get enough content out of there that it's not a big deal. You'll see here that uh, there's my path one, which is pretty much just the uh, entire outside of the helmet. Um, when and we'll, we'll create something. We'll talk about how some of this stuff is created in just a second here. Uh, but I think that's going to look pretty cool. I'm liking it. And let's just go to a brand new one. This is something I was going to be playing with here. And uh, let's see, where did it go? If you don't see it, uh, on the Mac side, it could be hiding back behind or it could be gone. So you could always go to View, Windows, and then bring up the Effect Assist. You're going to need Effect Assist to do this. Uh, the main tool allows you to browse to bring the image in, but Effect Assist is what you're gonna be using to do your drawing. So just get this to the size that you want. Uh, you can squeeze this in a little bit if you want. Uh, that's about it, yeah. That'll give us enough room 
I would like to be able to see uh, a tool, something to allow us to adjust this in here because it looks a little too wide. And again, because of my monitor, I can change that to some degree. In the 5K, I can make it look more square. Uh, I can zoom in, but I, I can't zoom out any more than that. And I would love to be able to zoom out more or just have a little more control of the guy here. But anyway, when we are ready to start a path, there's a path. If you've got something in here, for instance, the, when you first put the tool on here, you're going to see it's got the demo. Just click clear. It'll be gone. Uh, shift, that gives you the line one point or two points. Okay. Um, the escape ends the current path like it does in a lot of things. Space closes the current path and then delete. Uh, you can delete a point or segment. And so on here, if we just wanted to outline the entire outside of this, we click on start. And we would start right about there. And then I'm going to hit shift. And I'm going to start drawing in little segments. And I hit shift again, right? So it gives me two in each. If I hit shift, it's going to give me none. If I go straight up, that looks good. I might want to hit shift here to get a little more of a bow in there. There we go. And you can see you can make pretty good work of this. On the angles, you don't really need the shift, but if they're there, not a worry. Uh, I would probably, uh, that's a shift there. And we just decorate this thing. We just outline it. That's all we're doing. Uh, maybe down the road we'll see this where it uh, uses a magnet to automatically trace it. That would be kind of cool. Uh, a lot of softwares will do that. I don't know if this one will. Uh, I'm going to go to this point, go here, and then all the way up here, we only need one. And I just go every so many, and then I'll stop it right here and hit escape. From here, this is where you can finesse it. And you can zoom in to really see how close you are. Um, if you want to put a bow in there to get it to really like this right here. See, that's a nice curve there. Uh, if you hold down and depress the button on the wheel mouse, you can move the entire image like you can with a lot of things. I'll probably scoot this over here and this is where we really start to shape this. And it just, it does such a good job using these, getting these uh, nice, nice, smooth edges in here. Now you can spend a ton of time finessing this. There we go. And then let's take this one. We'll get that in right on there. And so you just, just take your time, put on some music in the background and just try to make it as good as you can. There we go. And now we're we're not going to make it perfect, but we're, we're going to get really close. Some of us with OCD, I mean, this is, you know, this is the way we don't know any other. There we go. That doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. I mean, you know, uh, cool. I like it. <clears throat> now, what you can do, uh, if, if I had more to add to this, I could just hit continue. And you can see there, I can just keep going and going, but I prefer to hit escape and leave that alone. If I click start, I can create a new path. Now here's the thing, and I would love to see this as an option at some point, uh, giving maybe a different control of a secondary path, because if I start a new path, and let's just say I start right here, and I hit my shift because I'm gonna want this to really curve really nicely around this. The challenge I saw with this is that it's gonna draw the first path and then it's gonna draw the second path. And that's cool, but I want these things to happen at the same time. And that's why in my previous ones, I just created multiple paths. So again, we can really get in here 
get these things looking super smooth, getting these bends just right. And for the most part, just having one is enough. That's the blue line in between the others. But if you've got something a little more sophisticated, nothing wrong with uh, having two and giving yourself a lot of flexibility. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I like it. <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. So there's my second path. So I have two paths. So let's do this. Let's just stop there. I'm going to bury this thing over here on the side. And where did it go? There we go. So now what we can see is we see this drawing and then it does the outside. So it's going to do one at a time and then it goes to the second one. But if I want this to draw itself at the same time, then I really should have it in a different effect and not uh, this path. So one of the ways you could do this, uh, maybe to save time, if you just wanted to outline everything, I could just copy this and we'll just paste this. Then I'm going to go in here. I'm going to bring this effects assist back over here. And maybe what I'm going to do is just get rid of uh, the first path. Uh, well, I can delete. Let's see if I can delete it. Can I right click? Ah, I can. There we go. Oh, and you can reverse path. I just saw that. Very cool. So let's delete that. Now I have path one, which is this. So now when we look at this, now we have both of these being drawn at the same time. So it's probably not a bad idea to do everything in one if you want to, but you don't have to. And that could be like your master path with multiples of the paths and then copy paste and just delete the paths you don't need. Cool. Now this one here, I wouldn't need path two. I get rid of that. Anyway, you can experiment and try different ways of getting that to work for you. Uh, I like the idea of trying to incorporate some artwork uh, that's not going to cause issues with copyright and taking liberty with creativity uh, in the outlines and then adding effects. Because, you know, remember, we can change the thickness of this. You know, that's on a P5 panel, so we, we can go hog wild and really get it to look interesting or make it look really thin with that line art look. And then uh, later when I start applying other effects on top and creating some interesting masks and some layer blending, uh, maybe we'll share a video with that. But hopefully uh, this will get you sort of excited about this tool. I think it's a really cool tool and I look forward to seeing what I do with it. I know a lot of people are just gonna do uh, symmetrical things and that's just been done all over the place. Um, but I think there's more to this for storytelling than just creating you know, a bunch of vortexes that uh, interweave with each other. Heck, you could do that with shaders. Anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoy this and we'll talk soon. Take care.